Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing the Tekken uh, FXR ESC and the Tekken T35 heavy duty motor into my Viterra Ascender. So this is going to be a fairly easy install, so I'll just show you how I do it. Alright, so I'm actually going to use the Traxxas uh, bullet connectors. These are off of the motor and the uh, ESC. So I'm going to use these just to make things easy so I can uh, swap the motor out if I need to or do any adjustments that I might have to do. I applied a little bit of flux to the negative and to the positive and I'm going to just add a little solder. Alright, now just a matter of soldering on the wires. It's actually going to be these two, positive and negative. Negative is black, of course positive is red. Alright, so uh, those wires are on. Going to get to work on the actual ESC. Now the ESC needs a capacitor to be soldered on to the battery positive and the battery negative. So it's real simple. On the end, it's actually a little darker. It's a blue stripe here. You want to have that facing to the outside or on the negative. And I usually like to put the capacitor so it's actually over top of the ESC. But also want to make sure that I'm not blocking any of the buttons. The wires are pretty thin on this, so you really want to be careful when you're bending the wires to get them in the posts. So you want to just be very careful you don't break the wire off. Alright, so I measured everything out. I know where I want to put the capacitor. I'm going to put a little solder onto the ESC. You want to be careful you're not breathing this stuff in. I am in a well-ventilated area. Alright, so now I just got to put on the capacitor. All right, and any excess that you have, you just want to trim off. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the wires for the battery uh, prepared. So I'll take off uh, the ends here. Try not to take off too much. I actually took off a little bit too much on this black one, but I can trim that back a bit. All right, so I'm going to add a little flux to the end of these, and I'm going to solder them onto the battery posts. Actually, too, I think I'm going to pre tin my wire a bit. Alright, now the negative. Alright, so the positive and negative are soldered on. Now it's time to get the motor wires. And it's going to be the same thing. Just going to go ahead and flux these and put a little tin on there and get them on. And that's basically it. I do have a BEC coming in for this, uh, so when that does come, I will run the line onto the wire. It's not in yet, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Traxxas connectors on. I'm using a little uh, fuel tube, just so the solder doesn't go too far down the post. A little trick I picked up uh, watching on YouTube. And last thing I gotta do is put on the actual connector. Cool. Alright, so everything's set up. Now it's time to get this thing installed. On the lead for this uh, ESC, I'm gonna put a connector on. And what this is gonna be, when I run the BEC, I'm gonna have to have the red wire removed. And I still wanna be able to use my hot wire. So I'm gonna run a small lead. Um, this way I don't have to worry about tampering with this. And I can take the red wire just right off the lead. To uh, take the red wire out, I just use an X-Acto knife. You've got to be very careful that you don't cut yourself. But just pry up the little plastic lock and then just pull out the wire itself. And that's it. And then what I'll do is just get um, some shrink tubing. And I'll just shrink tube this so it doesn't make contact with anything. Now I have two hot wires. The hot wire here is the Bluetooth enabled hot wire. This works for an RX4 with the uh, little auxiliary port, but the FXR doesn't have that. So I don't think there's anything I can uh, do to use this. Uh, maybe there's a cable or an adapter or something, not sure, but um, I already had this. Uh, this is the original hot wire, but this does need a computer. 
uh, with Windows. So, I've got to bring out the old computer again. And while I'm waiting for my fossil of a computer to start up, I'm going to just go ahead and put on the pinion gear. I'll see how this lines up once I get uh, this installed, but I'm just going to lightly put it on for the moment just so it doesn't fall off and then I can always tweak it when I get it in the car. Alright, so I used the hot wire, got the drag brake and all set on this. Uh, now, the ESC has the ability, you can adjust things. You don't necessarily need the hot wire. If I ever want to adjust anything on the fly, I could always use the buttons as well. The other thing for the motor, this uh, kit came with this plate here. Not really sure what it does, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on. All right, so I'm going to get this motor installed. I'm going to take off the cover. That's a tighter little space, so I'm going to use my little screwdriver so I can get in there and get the cover off. I don't really feel like taking the whole transmission out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slide the motor in. All right, so I have the motor bolted up. It's uh, loose right now. I'm going to adjust my pinion to make sure that it's lined up to the teeth on the spur and I'll tighten that down and I'll use a little piece of paper to get the mesh set correctly. Alright, I'm going to feed my lines up through into the uh, box here. Nice advantage of having the big box. I don't have to worry about any troubles getting the wires run. And this is going to simply plug into the throttle control. And actually, too, for testing purposes, I'm going to leave off uh, that little lead that I made just until my BEC comes in. All right, so it's all plugged in. Got my wires here. I'm going to simply plug those in. And I'll just feed them through this uh, little wire holder. This way they're nice and out of the way. So I'm going to just go ahead and get uh, everything bound up to my Spectrum. DX5R. Alright, so I got it all bound up. Steering's working. Forward and reverse are working. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a radio uh, ESC calibration. I'm going to take the blind plug out too, because I don't need that anymore. But I'm going to hold the mode button down, and it's going to do his little chime. I'm going to do full throttle. And I'm going to do reverse. Alright, it's all set. All ready to go. Everything seems to be working pretty well. Now I do have a few adjustments to make. The uh, servo, you know, it's set to neutral right now, but the servo obviously is not centered. But I am waiting for the Pro Scale uh, Proline shocks to come in. Once they, uh, once they come in, then I'll go ahead and adjust the servo and get that uh, set the right way. Other than that, I think I'm in pretty good shape. All right, guys, so that's about it. Um, one thing to note is the FX4 is not waterproof. I did not waterproof this. There are ways to waterproof it. Plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. Maybe one day I'll go back and, and do that. But everything's working. I'm going to wait to put on the cover. Still waiting for the BEC to come. I'll throw the BEC in. And uh, this rig as far as electronics and uh, the build will be done. I'll just go ahead and paint the body up and uh, get it out on the trail. Hopefully get some video of that and uh, be sure to share it with you. All right, but if you uh, liked what you saw, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day, guys. Catch you all soon.